to this week overview. During this week, we are going to talk about counting with moles and the types of chemical reaction. So first of all, mole ratios are the ratios of the coefficients in a balanced chemical equation. They show the number of moles of each substance involved in a reaction. After that, we are going to understand how to convert moles to mass. You will need to use the molar mass of the substance. The molar mass is the mass of one mole of a substance expressed in grams. By multiplying the number of moles by the molar mass, you can find the mass of the substance. It's a handy way to relate the amount of a substance to its mass in chemical reactions. Okay, now we are going to talk about these calculations in more details later on. So, we are going to take multiple examples about how to calculate and how to count with moles. Chemical reactions, the mass of a reactant or product can be calculated by using a balanced chemical equation and molar masses of the reactants and products. So those are the chemical calculations that we want to talk about. So for example, I have 2H2 plus O2 equals, or give me 2H2O, okay, which is water. So two atoms of, uh, of hydrogen without the balancing, those are four um, atoms of hydrogen and two atoms of oxygen. So I have here two mole and I have here one mole and I have here entirely two moles. Okay, so... We are going to calculate the molar mass of each one and the mass equals moles times molar mass. We are going to, call it to talk about this in more details and we are going to be able to convert mass to moles and vice versa. Also, we are going to talk about the types of reactions. So, I have different types of reactions. I have the synthesis reaction. This is when two or more substances combine to form a single more complex substance. It's like putting puzzle pieces together to create a new picture. Decomposition reaction. In contrast to synthesis, decomposition reactions involve the breakdown of a single compound into two or more simpler substances. It's like taking apart a complex structure to reveal its individual components. Single replacement reaction, also known as substitution reaction, this occurs when one element replaces another element in a compound. It's like swapping places in a game of musical chairs. Double replacement reaction, in this type of reaction, the positive ions of two different compounds switch places. It's like a dance where partners exchange their positions. Combustion reaction involves the rapid combination of a substance with oxygen, often resulting in the release of heat and light. It's like a very explosion of energy. These types of reactions help us understand how substances interact and transform in chemical processes. 